Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial today just to show you how simple it is to use a controller with QMG so navigating your menus and whatnot. So as you can see here I've got an example project and it's if we load it up it's just got a menu you press X I'm not sure if you can hear the controller in the background you can navigate the menu press quit select yes and it quits so nice and simple what we're going to do is go into that UMG and what you'll see here is we have some events. So up was down, up was pressed, down was pressed, left, right, except cancel. So you need to feed something in here to tell these it's time to fire. So if you look over to the left here in the function section, you'll see 31 overridable and there's one being overridden. So what you'd do in yours is you'd go to this button here, override and select on key down. So once that's done, we're gonna open that up. As you can see here, you have to make sure these events exist before you make this, but you've got up was pressed, down was pressed, and you've got input mapper here. Uh, this is just a macro that I made beforehand. You don't have to use a macro, but I personally do. And then as you can see here, this is the macro. So we get the key and then we check the key, which is another macro. And all that is, is we select the keys we wanna check. And then we just make sure is the source key equal to one of these. And if it's true or false. So if it's true, we're gonna say that event was happened. If it's false, we're gonna check another key. And if no keys were false, nothing was pressed. And then all we're doing there, so up was pressed, fire the event up was pressed, return handled, which means yes, we've done what we needed to do and then tell it, you know, handled or unhandled. So that means if nothing was pressed, unhandled. And so all we're doing there is then, oh, okay, up was pressed, you know, stop the animation, do all this stuff. So you do your code after that. And it's it really is that simple. You might have a thing where when you set all this up and you try and press, nothing happens. That's because you have to go into class defaults and set is focusable to true. This means that, you know, it will it is focusable. It's pretty self-explanatory. But once you've done that, you'll be able to control whatever you want with your uh, controllers. Brilliant. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.